It's games like this that make me regret the day I decided to be a Colts fan. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jackson. Our defense is phenomenal, but our offense is the worst thing I've ever seen. And last week was a fluke, and I take back every positive thing I said about this team last week. Power's here, and yeah, we lost to Tennessee for the fifth time in a row. And it's getting annoying at this point. Like, it was funny at first, but, like, y'all can stop now. You know, you, you can beat them. It's not against the law to beat the Titans. Just, just, just saying. Just, like, can we just beat the Titans at least just once in the next 10 years, please? Because, I mean, our whole season was pretty much lost yesterday. And I know that probably sounds like an overreaction because it's only week seven, but... We're probably going to have to win our division to get in the playoffs. And Tennessee now has sole first place of that and control of their own destiny. And they're starting to hit their stride at the right time. Derrick Henry's doing his thing. Their defense is pretty solid. Ryan Tannehill, he's still a game manager, but you really don't need to be making plays when your defense is making them for you. Let's just let's just get into this game. Uh, so the game started off with Tennessee getting the ball, going three, not going three and out, but they did end up having to punt off of a Kenny Moore sack, which was pretty nice. And then the Colts got the ball, threw it three times with Jonathan Taylor in the backfield, who was back today and only had 10 carries. Threw it three times, went three and out, gave Tennessee the ball back. They went down and they kicked a field goal to make the score three to nothing after a little bit. After some nothing was happened, they did that to make the score three to nothing. And then in the second quarter, the Colts were starting to do some things. And then Matt Ryan threw a pick six. When they finally had a good drive going, Matt Ryan threw a pick six to make the score ten to nothing. And then the offense got the ball right back. And then they threw another interception. Matt Ryan threw a second one in two drives. And then the Titans got the ball. And the defense did their thing. They got their stop. And they held them to three, making the score 13 to nothing. And then that was the score at halftime, if I'm not mistaken. Then in the second half, the Colts do some back and forth to the Titans when they traded punts. And then finally get into the end zone with a nice Paris Campbell touchdown, making the score 13 to seven. And then Tennessee, they went down after a little bit and they kicked a field goal to make the score 16 to seven. Then we got the ball, went down, kicked a field goal in the fourth to make it 16 to 10. And then we had opportunities though to take the lead. The offense just couldn't do anything with it. Constantly having to punt and turning the ball over and then the Titans eventually kicked a field goal, making the score 19 to 10. And then, yeah, that was basically it. The offense got the ball, had a chance, then Michael Pittman fumbled, and that was it. Yeah, that was, it was just bad. I know the recap probably was a little bit off, but I didn't even go back and watch this game. It was so depressing. Like, I watched it live and Normally I like to watch the highlights before I make these, but I didn't even I didn't even do that this time. I just couldn't. This game was so depressing. It was so boring. And the offense is 100% to blame. The defense did their thing. They didn't even allow a touchdown. The Titans touchdown was a pick six. So think about it. The Colts defense allowed 12 points. You should win games when your defense plays that well. The defense wasn't the problem. They did a pretty good job on Derrick Henry. I mean, he's Derrick Henry's going to get his yards. It's Derrick Henry. He's going to find a way to get his. He had 30 carries. He's going to get 100 yards when he has 30 carries. He's that type of player. Frank Reich, though, what is the matter with you? You called the perfect game last week. And now you call the worst game this week. You have Jonathan Taylor on your team, and you run the ball 10 times. Are you that stupid? Like, we don't have to throw the ball 40 times every week. Newsflash. 
Jonathan Taylor is averaging five yards a carry. Give him the ball. Every time he got the ball, it was positive yards. Every time. He's the best player on your team. Why is he not getting the ball? Did like does Frank Reich just not like Jonathan Taylor? Like I honestly don't know. Like that's the only explanation. Like he's the best player on your team. He is one of the best running backs in the league and you are giving him 10 carries. You see how the Titans run their offense? They run it through Derrick Henry. We need to do that. We have one of the best running backs in the league. He won the rushing title last year. Uh, he Every carry he got, he got positive yards for the most part. I think there was one he got stopped at the line of scrimmage. But other than that, he got positive yards every time. He, Him only getting 10 carries is unacceptable. Given the fact that we were in the game the whole way. Like, Tennessee had a two-score lead for the most part, but... We were in striking distance the whole time, and that's because of the defense. The defense is not to blame for this. There's probably going to be people in the comments that say, they allowed 19 points. First of all, no, they didn't. They allowed 12 points. And the, the touchdown was a pick six. They didn't even allow a touchdown. And one of the field goals that they allowed was because Matt Ryan gave the Titans good field position. So the defense really only allowed nine points, if you think about it, because the Titans had 10 points off turnovers. We outgain them in yards, too. It's just the turnovers. Like, we are constantly just beating ourselves, and it's just so frustrating to see. Like, if you're not going to use Jonathan Taylor, just trade him. Like, at this point, I don't want to trade Jonathan Taylor. He's my favorite player. But if you're, if you're going to relegate him to 10 carries a game, trade him so we can get something out of him. Because there's a lot of teams out there that would love Jonathan Taylor. Like, that's all I got to say. Like, I'm just so scared that Jonathan Taylor is going to waste his career with us. He's going to be another player that wastes their career with us. He's going to be just like T.Y. Hilton. Going to stay loyal and waste his career because he's on bad teams. Like, it's just unacceptable at this point. Like, it, it's coaching. Frank Reich is not a good coach. I've been saying that for the past two years. He's not a good coach. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, he... Run the ball, Frank. Our brand is run the damn ball. You sell hats and t-shirts that say that. Run it. Run the ball. It is, it's not, like, it's not the Andrew Luck days anymore. We don't need to be throwing 50 times a game to win. We have Jonathan Taylor. Give him the ball. Like, it's, it's amazing to me. Like, Frank Reich has horrible logic. He has the worst logic I've ever seen. My logic in Madden is better than his logic in real life, and I suck at Madden. Like, just run the ball, Frank. It's, it's really not that hard to figure out. Like, Matt Ryan does not need to be throwing the ball 40 to 50 times a game. Like, that's what he doesn't need to be doing. He's, he's a statue. We can't be throwing the ball that much. Run the ball. Do you know what opens up the pass game? Running the ball. You want to throw so much, so run the ball to open up your pass game. It's that simple. I don't understand what Frank Reich doesn't get about that. But it's whatever. Honestly, this season's a wash now. I mean, I don't think we're making the playoffs at all. And I, I, I shouldn't be writing my team off after week seven, especially when you see our roster. But... It's just pathetic what I see on the field every week. Like, the offense is so bad. They had one good game, and that was against Jacksonville last week. Other than that, they've played like shit. And it's just been, it's so frustrating. And every single game we've won this year has been because we got lucky. It's been like, like look at the Chiefs. The Chiefs is because their kicker sucked and Chris Jones had that penalty. Against the Broncos, it's because Russell Wilson is awful. Against the Jags, it's because of blown coverage and a play that no one thought was going to be called. And that's that's why we've won our games, and it's just it's just unacceptable. Like I don't I don't get it at this point. Like it's just so bad. I want Hendon Hooker really bad. That's all I'm gonna say. Hashtag tank for Hooker. I think I'm gonna make that the title. Just we need we need a new quarterback. We need someone mobile. Put Sam Ellinger in for all I care at this point. I mean, if we're gonna tank anyway, trade away every single person that's worth anything on your team and just build for the future. Because 
Everyone on that team right now is wasting their career with us. I mean, Gilmore, he he doesn't have much left in the tank. He came here to get a Super Bowl, and he's not getting that up to this point. Like, it's just the defense isn't the problem. The defense is not the problem. It's the offense. I love our defense so much. Our defense deserves so much better. They didn't, they contained Derrick Henry pretty well. I mean, yeah, he still had a 100-yard game, but it's Derrick Henry. That's going to happen. It just offense, get better. That's all I got to say. Uh, hashtag tank for Hendon Hooker. And that's it. I'm done ranting. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the bell notifications. I forgot one thing. Hold on. So, next week, we play the Washington Commanders. If we lose to the Washington Commanders, I will wear my Terry McLaurin jersey in the recap. So I'm probably going to be wearing my Tara McLaurin jersey next week. So see y'all next week. Make sure you turn on the bell notifications. Do all that shit. Follow everything in the description. See you guys next time. Bye.